Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. If you are watching our channel for the first time, please click on the subscribe button and bell icon to receive new updates from us. Today, I am going to explain chapter 1 integer subtraction of integers. Now, let us study the subtractions given below here. 6 minus 3, that is 3. 6 minus 2, 4. 6 minus 1, 5. 6 minus 0, 6. 6 minus of minus 1, that means 6 plus 1. Answer is 7. 6 minus of minus 2, that means 6 plus 2, that is 8. 6 minus of minus 3, that is 6 plus 3, 9. Next, 6 minus of minus 4, that means 6 plus 4. So, the answer is 10. Now, let us see the number line. 6 minus 3, let us represent. So, what we have to do first, show 0 onwards, 6. See here what we have done, 0 onwards 6 we have shown, minus 3 means 6 onwards backward, 3 numbers count. So, we got 3. So, 6 minus 3 answer is also 3. On the number line, when we subtract 3 from 6, we move left side on the number line. Now, let us see one more example. See the example, 6 minus of minus 1. That means 6 plus 1, answer is 7. Now, let us show this on the number line. So, 0 onwards, what we have to show? First, 6 we have to show it. So, we marked 6. Now, minus of minus, that means plus. So, 6 plus 1, so move 1 digit before. What we observe here, when we subtract a negative integer on the number line, we move right side on the number line. Each time when we subtract a positive integer, we move left side on the number line. See the, try this now. 8 minus 6, 2, 8 minus 5, 3, 8 minus 4, 4, 8 minus 3, that is 5, 8 minus 2, 6, 8 minus 1, 7, 8 minus 0, that is 8. 8 minus of minus 1, that means 8 plus 1, 9. 8 minus of minus 2, that means 8 plus 2, 10. Next, 8 minus of minus 3, that means 8 plus 3, 11. Next, 8 minus of minus 4, that means 8 plus 4, that is. See the first sum now. Now show 8 minus 6, 8 minus 1, 8 minus 0, 8 minus of minus 2, 8 minus of minus 4 on the number line. So the first one, 8 minus 6, that means 2. So first what we have to do, show 8, 0 onwards, 8. Now minus 6, that means 8 onwards, 6 numbers backward we need to count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 8 onwards we have to show 2. So, the answer is 2. We got it. See the next one. 8 minus 1 that is 7. So, first we have shown 0 onwards 8. Now, 8 onwards 1 number backward count. So, 8 minus 1. How much that is? 7. See no third one. 8 minus 0 that means 8 only. 0 onwards 8 we have shown. 8 minus 0, no number we are going to subtract there. So, the answer is 8 itself. So, we marked it here 8. See the next one, 8 minus of minus 2. That means 8 plus 2, that is 10. So, first we have shown 0 onwards 8. Now, what we have to do? We must add 2. So, we have to move towards right side, 2 numbers. So, 8 plus 2, 10 is the answer. Next one, 8 minus of minus 4, that equals 2. 8 plus 4 that is 12. So, first we have shown 0 onwards 8. Now, 4 numbers we need to add. So, we have to move towards the right side. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 8 onwards we have to show 12. So, 12 is our answer. See the second one now. When you subtract a positive integer, in which direction do you move on the number line? 
towards left side we are going to move on the number line see the next one when you subtract a negative integer in which direction do you move on the number line towards right side we are going to move on the number line see now second question Richa felt that each time you subtract an integer from another integer, the value of the difference is lesser than the two numbers. Is Richa right? Give reasons for your answer. See the solution now. Richa may not be correct all times. Why? Because Richa is correct only when we subtract a positive integer. But when we subtract a negative integer, what will happen? The difference is greater than the two numbers. 8 minus of minus 3. That means 8 plus 3 that equals to 11. So that answer is greater than the two integers. See now exercise 3 first sum. Represent the following subtractions on the number line. 7 minus 2. How much it is? 7 minus 2 that is 5. 8 minus of minus 7, that means 8 plus 7, that equals to 15. 3 minus 7, when we subtract them, we get answer minus 4. Now let us represent this on the number line. First they have given 7, so mark it 0 onwards, 7. Now minus 2 we have to show, 7 onwards, backward 2 numbers, 1, 2. So the answer is 5. 7 minus 2 answer is 5. See the second one. 8 minus of minus 7. That means 8 plus 7 equals to 15. Let us show this. First we have to show 8. 0 onwards 8. Then plus 7. Count 7 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 8 onwards we have to mark 15. So 8 plus 7. We got 15 as the answer. See next 3 minus 7. First we have to show 3. 0 onwards 3. Now what they have given? Minus 7. So 3 backward onwards you count 7 numbers. Negative number we have to show towards the left side. So count now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 3 onwards you show minus 4. So our answer is minus 4. Write out 3 minus 7 that equals to minus 4. What we have done here, whenever positive and negative integers are given, opposite sign is there, we have to do subtraction. So 7 minus 3 how much? 4 we have written. Don't consider this sign and see which one is greatest 3 or 7. 7 is greatest. What is its sign then? Minus. So we need to mention that minus sign. So 3 minus 7 answer is minus 7. 4. See fourth sum now. 15 minus 14 that is 1. So first show 15 0 onwards. 15. Now minus 14. Backward count 14 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 15 onwards. Numbers that is 1. So 15 minus 14 we got answer 1. See the next one, 5 minus of minus 8. That means 5 plus 8, that is answer is 13. So first we have to show 5, 0 onwards mark 5. Now add 8 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 5 onwards 8 numbers. If we count, we got 13. So mark it on 13. So 5. Minus of minus 8. That means 5 plus 8 we got answer 13. Next one see here minus 2 minus of minus 1. That means minus 2 minus of minus plus. So minus 2 plus 1. So opposite sign is there we need to do subtraction. So 2 minus 1 how much it is 1. Here forget about the sign and see the number which one is greater 2 greatest. So its a sign is minus. So mention minus here. So the answer is minus 1. So what we have to show first step. Show minus 2. 0 onwards. 
minus 2 we have shown. Now what we have to do? We need to add one number. So minus 2 onwards then we add one number. We got answer minus 1. See the second sum now. Solve the following. 17 minus of minus 14. That means 17 plus 14. Add now. 17 plus 14 how much it is? 31. See the second one, 13 minus of minus 8. That means 13 plus 8. 13 plus 8, how much it is? 21. See the next one, 19 minus of minus 5. That means 19 plus 5. 19 plus 5, how much it is? 24. See next, 15 minus 28. That means opposite side is there. We need to do subtraction. So 28 minus 15, how much? 8 minus 5, 3. 2 minus 1, 1. So that is 13. Here, forget about the sign and see which one is greatest 28. What is its sign? Minus. So write down minus. So the answer is minus 13. See the next one 25 minus 33. Opposite sign is there. We need to do subtraction. 33 minus 25. How much it is? 8. Here, forget about the sign and see which one is greatest. 33. What is its sign? Minus. So mention minus before. So the answer is minus 8. See next one 80 minus of minus 50. That means 80 plus 50 that is 130. See the next one 150 minus 75. If we subtract we get the answer 75. See next one 32 minus of minus 18. That means 32 plus 18. So the answer is 50. See the third sum now. Express minus 6 as the difference between a negative integer and a whole number. What we have to do is we need to express minus 6 as the difference of two numbers. That is one number is negative integer and the other number is whole number. See here solution minus 6 equals to minus 4 is a negative integer, 2 is a whole number and their difference minus 4 minus 2 that means minus 6. Take another pair minus 5 is a negative integer and 1 is a whole number and their difference minus 5 minus 1 that is minus 6 again. Minus 2 is a negative integer and 4 is a whole number and their difference minus 2 minus 4 that is minus 6. So, in this way, we can write any kind of negative integer and whole number to express this number that is minus 6. Today, we have learned subtraction of integers and exercise 3 all sums. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel and please support us. Thank you for watching.